I'm not. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> Something pretty big came through me. And it was how can individuals, if humans, if humans decide that they wanted to make things different, to change things, this would be a suggestion from me. Um, to make it less chaotic, to me, it's going to turn into interdependency because that's my thing. But again, and it's the best for everybody, but here's kind of what's going on and then why. Why would it help for every single individual, every single individual, every single individual to work on themselves? And here's the reason. This is what's going on in our world. Every day, you can see this on Twitter, by the way. This isn't anything I'm making up. Like something new is always pushed into our consciousness. Some new excitement. Um, and we have to make a value judgment about it. Uh, so we have all these stories. And, and then there's... It, it, so just imagine every day we have these stories that come in and they take over the consciousness of our country. And I'm not like, again, you could look at Twitter, you can see the, the hashtags, you can see what people are thinking about. We can, we can actually track this. So what's happening is that we have so many people and so many ideas that everybody's trying to find boxes to put every one of these situations into people. I mean, if you notice now, especially like people are being ripped apart because their, their boxes don't even fit anymore because their lives have been changed around. So anyway, what's, what's actually happening is that there's so many people screaming for so many different things that we don't know what's going on. We need people who can figure out what's going on. And the thing is, is even if the leadership that we have now were at any point any competent and i'm not saying that they could be we just don't even know it because they're so inundated with voices coming from so many different directions and everything is based upon emotion it's this big drama that wants to keep playing out everybody's got this but it's so important to me and it's so important to me thing if 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 people really, like truly wanted to change, and I'm not saying you have to, this is, this is your choice as a human is to change if you want to, is you need to allow people to look at ideas, to be able to share ideas without having an, a, a, making a value judgment about a situation. The reason is, you know, it's kind of like, Pedophilia. It, it, this is just a really springy, contrasty one. Pedophilia. I don't have to take an emotional reaction to it. I can just have a preference. Pedophilia is not going to be allowed in our country or in, in our society. And so we're going to punish that behavior. If I don't have an emotional charge, here, here's what you can do when you don't have an emotional charge is you, you can actually see what's going on. <laughs> so every, it, like, it, it, and that's, that's one word that, um, you know, is used for a broad amount of different type of pedophilia. I mean, it's kind of all the same thing, but it's, there's a big difference between you can imagine something egregious. I can't even think of it now. And something not egregious. Um, you you make up those stories in your mind. Those uh, contrasty stories. Um, but just to see that there's this swath of a, a continuum of things that need to be considered as, as being human. But you need to have people that are able to actually look at the situation without emotional charge. Because... If they're trying to make, if you have just people screaming at you constantly, 
Like, you can't say that. You can't do this. You don't go anywhere. <laughs> like, society doesn't go anywhere. The conversation doesn't go anywhere. But it's a choice. It, it's just a story. Everybody's just making up their own little story about what the world should be. We need people to just kind of, if they could just back off a little bit and rely on people like me, who I take no position. I have had an experience in this world. I don't take, I don't judge anything in this world. No different archetypes or whatever. I have my own preferences. Like I wouldn't want pedophilia, pedophilia to be a thing in the culture. So there would be some kind of uh, consequence for that kind of behavior. But I don't need to make a value judgment about it. I don't have to have an emotional charge. It's people do choose to have emotional charges. I used to have emotional charges about everything. And that's what I realized, have come to realize is that my mind is open and now I can actually look, I can look and tear apart any, anything because I don't make it, I don't have an, a, an emotional reaction to it. And I know that probably sounds weird and it would have sound weird to me not long ago, but it's the case. And it, if you could see it, like there are people that can see how the puzzles could be put back together. The problem is, is that people are, uh, people are so reactive that they're tearing anybody down who could be an ally and uh, to them and to actually help their cause move forward. So if you really wanted your cause to move forward, step back. Just be that individual that just steps back, gets out of the story so you can see what the hell's going on because you can't see it. It's like the, it's the elephant thing. You're, if you're standing this close to an elephant, you can't see it. You, you can't even see that there's an elephant. You got to be able to see that there's an elephant. You need people with a bigger vision to be able to do that. The emotional charge is, is, is what stymies pathways to finding better ways to be and better ways to live. But again, it's just a story. It's a, that's, that's just a story inside of a story. So if like people truly just wanted to make a choice, they would make a choice for a different story. And listening to people that can see things from a bigger perspective and look at things without making a value judgment. And, you know, every time somebody puts something out, like you have to like, see if you can read things without an emotional charge. That way you can go back and read it from one perspective and then go, oh, well maybe they meant it like this, read it with that tone in your mind and then, then you actually will be like, oh, I gathered new information. Or if it zings you and somebody, you know, maybe they were wrong and maybe they'll admit it. it. There's nothing wrong with questioning somebody. That's, I question me. I love being questioned. I go down to every rabbit hole. That's how this whole interdependency works is that we, we all add our little uh, piece to the game. The only thing when it comes to like feedback for me, and this is just something for me, as I won't do internet troll. Uh, that's where basically people put their opinion in and then that's, they're done. Or, um, you know, they just come in and then leave, give a little psychological seed and then leave. But yeah, it's just a matter of just kind of stepping back a little bit. If people did, we'd change the story. People could change the story if they wanted to. That's what I'm saying is that this is just a choice. It's a choice. It's just a choice. It's always just a choice. Seems like I keep repeating.